in this video we are looking at differentiation and this is a further maths exam paper so we have an exponential function and another one and they will involve differentiating with the chain rule and of course with the exponential function has its own rule for that as well so let's write them out so e to the 4x, we say y equals that as a function or expression, and dy over dx. We're doing this with respect to x. So of course you take the constant, put it out front, so 4 to the e, 4e to the 4x. Secondly, we have 6x plus 2. And we have an exponent, we have to use the chain rule here. And you can see on the right hand side some of the formula that we use for this product rule, chain rule. And there's an example of the chain rule as well. So we put our exponent out front 6x plus 2. Think of it as it's called like a splodge technique sometimes. So that inside part. We differentiate that and we get 6. So 6 times 3 is 18, divided by 2 is 9. And to the so minus 1 is 1 half, of course, at the end, as we just wrote. Now, we're going to use the product rule, which is find, finding a derivative of two differentiable functions. So it's kind of like the addition, so I'll show it now, the addition of the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second plus the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first. And there's our first part and the second part will do the same. Six x plus two, so the same thing again. And once you've done that out, we will we can use factors. We can yeah factor it out together in some way, putting uh, like terms whatever capacity we can. So what do they all share? Well, these two share e to the 4x and our 6x plus 2 to the power of a half, which is, of course, a square root, just like it states for our form in the question. And now we we'll start to put together the other aspects, taking out the other parts of it that couldn't be factored. So we've just 9 on the first one. And now four times the second expression in the second part. And um, that should be to the power of a half, so that's, that's just one. So 6x plus 2 on its own there. So do this out again, just like it says, in the way that we should give our answer. And you could do this in two parts, but I'll just break it down. So 4 times 6 is 24, 24x. And 4 times 2 is 8. So 9 plus 8 is plus 17. And that's our final answer for that. In our next part now, we have sine to the 3x. So y equals sine to the 3x if you want. And then the derivative of that, we use a chain rule. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And we have 3 in front of our x. So that, of course, goes out front. So 3 cosine 3x three is the answer to that. You can check your integration table for that if you want to see more. And the second one, 
on the base, on the denominator, is 2x minus 4 to the power of 3. And we're going to use again the chain rule for this one. So put the 3 out front. 2x minus 4 to the power of 3 minus 2, with 3 minus 1, which is 2. And then inside we had 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. Keep the 2x minus 4 to the power of 2. Now here we actually have to use a different technique called the quotient rule. You may wish to pause on this just to see how the quotient rule works. And you can see it's written out there, that third step there. So from here again, once you've used your quotient rule, you begin to simplify things out. And of course, try and factor any parts that you can. So some of it is just rewriting it out again and simplifying bits and pieces out. So I use 3x. So I've multiplied this out. So 2x minus 4 times 2x minus 4, do that in a sub bar. And of course, you multiply all of that by 6. So you would have got 4x squared minus 16x plus 16 times the 6. And that's where you'll get your 24x squared minus 96x plus 96. And again, on the base, on the denominator, we do the same. We have 2x minus 4 to the power of 3 to the power of 2. So that's to the power of 6. And that's your final answer. Um, you could actually, you could rewrite it a different way. We have one line, so your exponents are being changed here. So you would have the 3 cosine 3x three times 2x minus 4, and then to the power of 3 minus to the power of 6 on the base, because they, they share the same function there. And the same with the second one. I'm going to put the 6 there. So you divide the 2x minus 4 into that last function there, 24x squared minus 96x plus 96. So that second bracket was just the same as 2x minus 4 to make it consistent. And of course, we had a power of 2, so 2 minus 6 is to the power of minus 4. There's an alternative answer for that. So there was a number of differentiation skills involved here in this question five for the further maths um, paper from 2022. Thank you.